It's the year 1992, a girl looks outside her room window and sees a toy boat floating in their pool in the backyard. Which was her severely ill brothers, she went to get the boat but some type of force rapidly pulled her into the pool, she has trouble getting out, she sees a woman near the pool, giving her a hand, the girl went up to grab it, once up the woman just vanished. The girl again tries to get boat, and she does, but gets pulled down, she tries to yell for help but to no avail. Then, the little girl disappears, nowhere to be seen. Forward to 2022, the Waller family are in a town, looking for a new permanent home, and we get to know that the father, Ray, got ill and had to retire from his career of baseball. Checking the first home, the Waller family didn't have interest in this house so they leave now. When Eve was driving, Ray tells his wife Eve to stop, because he sees a home with a for sale sign on the house. They look through this home now and Ray was with joy to spot a pool in the backyard, since he wanted to have one, but never did have one ever. They look through, and the pool is covered, Ray saw a baseball and bent down to get it, but fell into the pool with the covers and leaves present. Under the pool, he remembered himself playing baseball. His son Elliot found his dad and yelled for help. This pool matches the one in the past of 1992. Eve took her husband to the hospital to have him checked up, the doctor gives a suggestion to Ray to do light activity exercises, like yoga or swimming. Ray tells Eve that, he wants to buy the home with a pool. And how he can do swimming therapy there. Eve agrees to move, and is happy to move to a permanent home, because before due to Ray's career in baseball, they had to move many times. The Waller family moved quickly to their brand new home. Eve got a new job to work at, near the home which is at the same school, their daughter Izzy, and son Elliot had got admitted, Izzy has a new friend Ronan. After coming home the family cleans up the pool. Izzy states to her parents that she joined a swim team. Ray says he is proud of his daughter. He puts his hand in the drain to clean. But Ray's hand gets cut and he pulls it out. The family gets worried, then mysterious black liquid started coming from the drain. They call the maintenance guy to check the pool out, the guy states it's a spring pool, that is from underground and is well naturally. After the family jumps in the pool, they all enjoy. At night Ray unpacks stuff, Eve writes a big check for the money owed to the health claim center. To relax she goes to swim, and sees the pet cat seem to be acting strange and doesn't think much of it, while swimming she sees her husband standing near the pool, then he disappears, she looks clearly, and saw nothing, she was scared, then lights started to flicker, and she decides to leave and go inside. She checks her kids, and in her room, sees Ray asleep. Ray wakes up and Eve asks if he was outside, but he said he wasn't. Outside, the cat was by the diving platform, and same toy boat from 1992 is seen, the cat sees this. Next day, the cat was nowhere to be found, but the family spots the collar in the pool. The Waller family thought that the cat fell into the pool, Ray bent down to get the collar. Inside he checks the bandage and was shocked, seeing his hand was fully healed. Then at night Eve has a nightmare, once she is awake, she sees Ray is swimming in the pool. Later the next day, Ray goes to therapy, and the doctor was very shocked after checking him in his tests, on how in a short amount of time, Ray was doing much much better than before. Ray was happy on how the pool was helping in the healing process. We see Ray is more bright and cheerful now, and continues therapy in the pool. Elliot tells his dad to go swimming with him to play. Ray makes a smiley face on a quarter, and says to toss it in the pool for him, so when he was done, he can toss coins. He waits for his dad, going underwater he spots a coin in the pool, he goes up and believes that, his father was there already that fast, but saw nothing, he was confused, now he puts goggles on, and looks for coin, but more and more coins got thrown, one being on the drain. Elliot hears a voice calling, that of a girl's. She states, she is Rebecca, and is looking for her mother. Elliot tries to grab a toy from her, suddenly a hand grabs him pulling. Elliot frightened, yells and tells his mom. She goes to check, but nothing there. Eve tells Ray, but he ignores it, stating that Elliot was probably imagining, since he has no friends. Later on Eve, Ray, and Izzy go to the school to support Elliot for his baseball practice, Ray helps students, the coach tells him to hit the ball, Ray consents. First he slammed himself to the ground, next time, he hit so well with force that the ball broke, the family was shocked. At night, the parents leave their kids alone to go to dinner. Izzy gives a warning to Elliot, not to snitch since she invited Ronan, who she likes. They play a game of Marco Polo, Ronan runs leaving her alone during this, she looks for him, with eyes closed, playing Marco Polo. All of a sudden, something pulls her down, after opening her eyes she sees herself, being deep into the water, rushing she goes up, and is scared and confused because Ronan explains he wasn't there, 
and the voice she heard of Marco Polo was not his. On Saturday, Elliot asks his sister on what happened, Izzy just ignores, since they finally have a home and don't want to have to move again. At pool party time, Elliot sets a camcorder to record the pool section, the realtor Kay is there. She says the owner before didn't feel comfortable using the pool, because a small girl drowned many years ago, and the girl's name was Rebecca. Outside, two teams are formed and they play a game. Ray has a boy on his shoulders, while playing, suddenly black liquid comes from the drain and goes into his mouth, possessing him, and Ray tries to drown the kid, Elliot sees this and calls his mom. The boy's dad quickly dives, the party is over. The parents don't press charges though upset, they state due to Ray being ill, water is drained from the pool. After Ray starts coughing the black liquid, and he rests. Eve starts investigating and researching about the home and pools, and finds out a shocking truth, of history present of disappearances in the home. Eve finds Rebecca's mother's address and at her home, asks more about the girl. She tells Eve that the pool before was a healing spring, but that the spring wanted to exchange something for the healing it gives. A person has to pay the price for it, to continue to flow. So to heal a person, somewhat in exchange has to be the sacrifice. We find out that Rebecca's mother had sacrificed her own daughter being, just for her severely ill son. She harshly starts coughing. Eve sees black liquid on her and water fountain. Ray starts showering, and gets possessed. Elliot hears the cat meow, the sound comes from the pool. Though before drained, water somehow is present, he looks at a floating flamingo, but falls in the water. Pool cover started closing on its own, his sister ran to stop it, when their mom helps, they saved it from closing. Izzy runs to get help, Eve searches for her son, beneath the water, but doesn't see him. She saw a darkish spot, and she tied herself with a hose, and went into the darkness. Eve sees Elliot, very deep in the pool, everyone that was sacrificed were pulling them to drown, Eve barely manages to get away, but due to it being so dark and in the pool, she can't find a way to go through to go up, and sees the smiley coin, and then she sees light, and they get out of the pool. And pumped on Elliot's chest to save him now. Izzy got hurt, when she slipped on some water, and got glass from the floor on her hand. She sees her dad possessed, he comes after her, to have her sacrificed. But Izzy fights, and goes to hide. Ray spots Eve and Elliot, and charges to the backyard, and attacks her. But Izzy was actually behind him, with a baseball bat, she hits him. They try getting Ray to remember them, then he is back to himself after throwing up the black liquid. Elliot wakes up, and his veins start to swell. Ray sees black liquid expanding in the pool and he decides to sacrifice himself. After everything that happens, Eve and the kids make a decision to stay in the home anyways, so that nobody else would go in the pool. They get it covered up with sand, to prevent future issues. In conclusion, to get what you want, you must face the consequences present. The pool used to be a healing spring, but to get reward, a person needs to be sacrificed, unfortunately to save his family, Ray does this, and now the family will live in that home.